sitter här i full tilt loungen och träffar Andy Block. Hello Andy, how are things? Ah, oh, they're going pretty well right now. I just made my second cash and um, you know, going this far in the World Series and have this just be my second cash is uh it's been a little bit frustrating. I went about 15 events before I had my first cash and then I bubbled another event, uh, the actual bubble. Um so, you know, it's it's nice to have another um uh, check mark, another cash and you know, from here on out I'm, you know, I'm looking to try and make the final table and get heads up for the bracelet and hopefully win one this time. How many events totally have you played so far? I've played. It's kind of embarrassing. I think this is my my 27th event, possibly. <laughs> um, so you know, last year this time I had about like four or five caches, and including uh, second place for like 400,000. So you know, I'm a little behind schedule right now, but you know, I'm feeling good, and it's. I think it's much better going into the main event and the horse having just cashed and feeling confident rather than uh, the other way around and cashing early and then having a tough streak in the middle but you know i still if i don't make the final table here and get get deep in that it'll still be a disappointing world series so far so how is overall 2009 well i haven't played too much outside of the world series i played a i played the ept championship and the wpt championship and a couple of other 10k events and you know didn't do very well in any of them so you know hopefully the last couple of weeks in the world series i'll have a nice rush Hopefully this is the start of things to come and and I can, you know, really turn this year around. But, you know, I'm always, you know, I, I look at things more of a, you know, am I playing well? Am I doing well? Am I enjoying myself? And not really so much at, at the results. Uh, you know, players, even the best players in the world, you can go 30, 40 events without a cash. Cause you, mostly because your goal isn't the cash. Your goal is to make it to the, into the money with a lot of chips, make it to the final table with a lot of chips and, hopefully get heads up and win a bracelet so because of that you know the, the best players in the world you're not going to see them cashing one out of three or one out of four events you're going to see them cashing you know one out of seven one out of ten you're a familiar face for the scandinavians uh, from your appearances in for example poker after dark how is the difference between playing a tv tournament like that and this is the real thing i guess well poker after dark is a lot of fun because you go there knowing you're going to be on tv and you have only five opponents to be and it's a lot of fun and they show like every hand and here it's it's a long long road to get to the final table you got to play a lot of hours every day poker after dark is four or five hours and you, you know you can win 120k here I think uh, second only pay is about 170, something like that. So um, I would have to play like four times, five times as long to win that. But you know, this is a—it's a lot more prestigious to win a World Series of Poker bracelet. There's 500 something players in the tournament I'm in right now, and to beat that many players is uh, a great feeling. And that's you know why I love to play tournaments. Perfect. We'll be following you during the tournament, Andy, and hopefully we'll do a winner interview here soon. Sure, I look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. and good luck.